Gentlemen, you're lucky a lady isn't supposed to swear. My front door is fully functional and may actually be used. Your, your living room? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. Really, we must apologize. Oh, thanks guys, enough whining. Would you give me the honor of letting me know who you all are? Frank. Quentin. John. I'm called Tesla. And you, my dears, owe me an explanation for all of that. Who wants some tea? Uh. Well then, tell me. It all began with me wanting to find a material that, looked through, would make food look inedible to the eater. For diet purposes, so to speak. Pardon? How is that supposed to be useful? Silly question. Use your brains a little, laddie. If food doesn't look good, you lose your appetite. So then you eat less and live healthier. This way, I'm trying to destroy this horrible sports industry. Savages and defilers, all of them. Master Jern, could it be that your practitioner has prescribed you more exercise again? No. Well, that means... Yes. Who cares? Like, where was I? Oh, yes. Now I mix my components together, cut the produced material into lenses, and fix them into a frame. But when I wanted to test the goggles, the served chicken did not only look extremely tasty still, no, I was also able to look past the chicken into another dimension. First, I really wasn't sure what I was seeing there. I wasn't sure, but then it dawned on me that this could only be another dimension. There, this horrible creature was drifting around. When I saw it, a cold shiver ran down my spine. I threw the first thing I could lay my hands on. But to throw a component of the lens I had just invented apparently wasn't such a good idea. The space between the dimensions shrank, the dimensions collided, and a rift emerged. Nearly everything in my lab broke or exploded. Oh, my work. Such a shame. And the goggles? Were they destroyed too? No, I don't think so. The one I wanted to test I still had in my hand. The others? I had produced five in total. Were flung through the air into all directions by the explosion. We have to find them at all costs and render them harmless before anything worse happens. Who knows what the goggles can get up to in the hands of this monstrosity. Well, it is our duty now to find these goggles. Yes, sir. Great, then you've come to the right place. I'm in. <laughs> That's not for dames. What? No. I am sorry, but we cannot allow something happening to you. Don't worry, it doesn't put me to any trouble. I'll be back in a second. I have to fetch some odds and ends. Somehow, we've just been outvoted by a single person. Is that possible at all? In this case, it seems like we don't have a choice. You have to bow to higher powers. As long as she doesn't unnecessarily slow us down with some girly stuff, All right, guys, I'm ready. All set? Gentlemen? Our escape route. Women, since when have they changed like that? Now take it easy, Master. You will get used to it soon. Oh, she's really good, isn't she? Yes, we should keep an eye on this lady.
Shoot him, slash him, beat him, but close those rifts.
are coming right after me! 